And so in today's video, we're going to talk about how to use the new pose library feature inside of Blender 3.0 in order to save different poses for your rigged objects in Blender. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first things first, make sure that you've downloaded Blender 3.0 or above because this is a feature that's a part of the new asset library. You want to make sure that you have that version. Um, I'll also link to the documentation about the pose library in the notes below the video. But Basically what we wanna do is we wanna take a file and this is one of the example files from the Sprite Fright video. Um, you can download all of these assets um, with a Blender Studio membership, um, but we're gonna use this for our example. And so what we wanna do is we want to save some different poses using our character. Right, And so the first thing we wanna do is notice how we're in object mode right now. Most of the time when you're working with pose mode, you wanna make sure that you're actually, or when you're working with your pose library, you wanna make sure that you're actually in pose mode. Because notice if I tap the in key right now, um, nothing shows up over here. But if I jump into the pose mode, notice how there's an option here for pose library. And so when you tap the in key and click on animation, you can click on pose library in order to see um, the different poses saved in your asset library. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag a new window over here. And I wanna put this in here as an asset browser window. So we're just gonna click the drop down, click on asset browser right here. Notice how the poses that are already in here show up both in my asset library and in my pose library over here. Notice how I can click on these. So for example, if you look at the eyes and I click on the eyes like this, notice how I can click on these in order to quickly go between the different poses that are saved in here um, inside of my scene. So not only is this working with the face, notice how this is also working with the hand. So you can see how the hand will go to the different poses if I click on them right here. And so let's say that we wanted to create and save a pose. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna start by going into pose mode in our model, and then I'm just gonna click on something, in this case, probably this foot right here. Notice how this is rigged already. So because it's already rigged, it's really easy to uh, save this pose. But what we wanna do in this situation is once we create or we have the foot in the location that we want. So I just clicked on this and moved it around. We just wanna select the relevant bones. So I'm just gonna click and drag around here. We could probably pick up all of these, but I think I'm just gonna pick these up right here. But now what we wanna do is we wanna create a new pose. So um, we've got our knee up in the air. So let's create a pose asset by clicking on the create pose asset button right here. So if I click on that, Notice what that's gonna do. So that's gonna add a pose at the bottom of the page um, or at the bottom of the list right here. And so you can select that right here or if you wanna edit it, you can go over into your asset browser right here and find that inside of your scene. So if I scroll down, notice how that's just showing up here as rig rex. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna tap the N key. That's gonna pop up a little window right here, and that's gonna allow us to rename this. So in this case, we're gonna name this knee underscore up, like this. So now we have a pose in here where our character has their knee up in the air like this. Well now, let's create another one with our knee down. So we're just going to, whoops, we'll move the foot down and over like this. I'm just gonna select these bones again, and I'm just gonna create a new pose. So in this case, we're gonna click on create pose asset, and we're gonna name this pose asset, knee underscore down, right here. So now you can see how inside of your asset library, right here, you have a knee up and you have a knee down. And notice how clicking on these over here doesn't do anything. Um, you either need to right click and click on apply pose, if it's over here, or you just need to find them inside of your actual pose library on the right hand side. So you have your knee down, you have your knee up. You can click between those um, in order to make them active. So another cool thing about this is if you click on one, right, like this knee down right here, and then you click on the knee up and drag left to right, notice how this is gonna animate a transition between one pose and the other. And if you look at the top of the page, you see how it says pose library blending knee up and it'll tell you what percentage it is between the knee up and the knee down, just like this. So if you don't wanna click and drag between the poses, there's also an option over here on the left-hand side to click on interactive blend. So right now we're on knee down. Well, if I click on knee up 
and this is more over here in the left hand side, and then click on Interactive Blend, and I move my mouse around, notice how this is blending between those animations right here as well. Notice how this didn't create a thumbnail over here? So when you create a new pose, if you want this to create a thumbnail, what you need to do is just do a Shift A, um, and we're gonna jump back into object mode right here. You need to make sure that you have a camera. So if you add a camera like this, and then I'm just gonna set this camera so that it's looking at my character's knees specifically. So I'm gonna set this up, and then I'm gonna jump into pose mode, and we'll just create another simple movement like this one. So we'll just call this one foot out. And so let's create a pose asset right here. We'll notice how now for this one, this actually creates a thumbnail from that camera that you had active when you create the pose. So when you're creating your different poses, if you have a camera active in here, then you can use this in order to create a thumbnail when you create your actual pose itself. So for this one, I might call it leg left out or something like that. So you can also use the preview tab over here. And so note that if you select your knee up pose and you have that active and then you come over into the preview right here um, and notice how we're still in our camera mode right here. But if you click on this little refresh button right here to generate a preview, it'll do that and it'll save it with your movement. So now we've got actual visual thumbnail previews of what these poses look like inside of our asset library. And then you can also order them by clicking on the plus button right here and adding catalogs. So for example, for these, these might be my legs catalog, right? Cause these all have to do with my legs. So I would just take the legs catalog and I would just take these three objects. So I just do a shift click and just drag this into the legs catalog, right? I might create another one for hands right here. So I could take all of the hand items and drag them into the hands catalog right here. So now you can see how inside of those different uh, catalogs, you'll only see the, um, the poses that you've actually dragged in there. So I will link to some other videos about some other Blender 3.0 features on this page. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.